Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R730. In this video, we're going to focus on the different network cards. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about the Dell PowerEdge R730 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like, smash that subscribe. All right, so this uh, video is going to be covering the uh, different NIC options, um, and really there's really two types of options. There is what's known as a daughter card, and there's the PCIe slot option. Uh, we have both of them right here, and we're actually going to install both of them in this video as well. Uh, my personal preference is the daughter card uh, for two reasons. There's a couple advantages to it. Uh, one, there is a built-in slot, as you'll see in a, a minute, where this can be installed into the motherboard, and you will not use a PCIe slot, so you can use that PCIe for something different, which uh, is you know always a good advantage to be able to have open PCIe slots for the different things people want to do. Um, and then two, it offers you four ports as opposed to two ports. So there's two uh, advantages for the daughter card that uh, personally is why I would recommend that. Um, you can use a RJ45, which is an Ethernet, or you can use an SFP Plus. Uh, both are good options, just depends on what you're looking for. Um, there are a couple of different speeds. You can get four uh, one gigabit per second, you can get four 10, gig, 10 gigabit per second, or you can get two one gigabit plus two 10 gigabit per second. To me, the uh, the sweet spot is the uh, two one gigabit plus two 10 gigabit. Uh, as far as the price per, uh, gives you the option to be able to have 10 gigabit and not uh, you know break the bank. If you need all four, then of course you need to go the opposite direction and get the uh, the quad port 10 gigabit. Uh, but what I personally recommend and what I like to build with, or what we like to build with, is the uh, two one gigabit plus two 10 gigabit. Okay. All right. So let's show you how to actually install them. Um, um, and get going. All right, so here's your two options. This is uh, the daughter card option up here, and here are your PCIe options, so you can see how the uh, the form factor of them looks like, okay? Um, so with the uh, daughter cards, as we discussed, uh, this one right here is going to be uh, my personal favorite. It's uh, the Broadcom uh, 2 1 gigabit plus 2 10 gigabit uh, RJ45. Uh, over here is one of our customers' personal favorites. We build this all the time. Uh, it's the uh, Broadcom, uh, actually this one is the Intel, uh, two one gigabit plus two 10 gigabit. Uh, both are great options. This one's the SFP Plus, um, and this right here is your quad port one gigabit, okay? Uh, all these are great options. Again, depends on what you're looking for. And then back here are your dual uh, PCIe. Uh, one of them is dual 10 gigabit, SFP Plus, and one of them is dual taking a bit RJ45. Again, it always just depends on what you're looking for. So I'm going to show you how to install both options right now. All right, so we're going to start with installing the daughter card. So make sure the latch is set to unlock, pop it open. All right, to install the daughter card, which again, we talked about the advantage of it, there's a built-in slot back here for it. Um, you need to remove riser two and riser three. There's no latches or anything that you need to do. You're just gonna really need to just lift these up. Uh, personally, I like to grab back here and right here, and then you're just gonna pull it straight up. Uh, then you're gonna come over here to riser three. Uh, same thing, we're just gonna pull this uh, straight up, being gentle and careful, of course. Now we're gonna come over and we're actually going to uh, install our card. All right, so now we're actually gonna install the NIC card. So you wanna just line this up properly in here. And you're gonna need to kind of shove it in. And sometimes you actually have to kind of lift the ports up on the back side. it just depends. And then you're gonna wanna come in and make sure you get this down nice and flush, okay? And then you're gonna get your trusty screwdriver and you're gonna come in and screw it down. Nice and easy. And then once we do this, we want to just make sure we're fully inserted. So you see these two buttons here where it even tells you to push. You're going to push right there and just make sure it's fully inserted. Okay. Now we're just going to put our risers back on, which is uh, nice and easy. So this is going to be riser two over here. So just line everything up. Just line it all up and slide it down nice and easy. All right, so now we're going to install riser three. And just make sure they're nice and flush. And then that's all you got to do. 
All right, so now we're going to install the PCIe version of our NIC card. So we need to just pop the latch, open the top. We're going to come back here to riser one. We're going to lift this up. You see these two blue buttons. You're going to push this first one and lift this black latch up and push the second one and remove this black latch. Then you're going to come in here and you're going to want to make sure that you line everything up properly because this is a bit of a tight squeeze when you have PCIe cards right on top of each other. So just line everything up properly. And make sure that you have a nice solid connection. All right, everything's in perfectly, so we're going to put our, rise, our latches back on to keep everything uh, firmly secured into the riser and we're just going to drop the riser back in. So really that was uh, nice and easy overall. Uh, now the riser's nice and flush and we've installed both our NIC cards. So if you made it this far, do us a favor, click that like, smash that subscribe, and if you're looking to uh, build an R730 yourself or you're using uh, any kind of Dell, HP, or Supermicro server in your data center, we'd love the opportunity to quote you. Please email our team at sales at cloudengines.com. That's sales at cloudengines.com. Thanks for stopping by. Take care, guys.